In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Workday function in Google Sheets. What the Workday function does is it calculates an end date after a specified number of working days. So the syntax here is Workday, and then the first argument is Start Date. This is the date that we begin counting at. Um, the next argument is the number of days which is the number of working days um, to move forward from the start date. If the number is negative, the function will end up counting backwards. The next argument is optional. This is holidays. Um, what you can do here is you can place dates in an array or range and enter it into the formula. And these will be considered holidays. And any holidays you have will be excluded from the count. So just to show you how this works, equals workday, and then I have my start date, and then I have my number of days. Now I'll just copy and paste this formula down. And then in this one, I will just add this date in as a holiday, and we can look and see what each of these lines is going to do. So in this first one, um, there's the start date of August 1st and 10 days after that is the 13th. So let's just take a look at this in the calendar here. So here's the first and you can see um, here's five working days and then we skip the weekends because those are not working days and 10 days after we're at the 13th. Uh, now we can look at these two lines. See they both have the same start date and they have the same number of days, but this one has a holiday. So the result of this one is actually a day after this one because this one is not excluding the holiday like this formula is. And then our last one, we have the third and 10 working days after. We're at the 17th here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're at the 17th because workday will calculate an end date after a specified number of working days. So it excludes weekends, excludes holidays. So that is what the workday function does and that is how you use it. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.